Welcome to this week's edition of First Minister's Questions Review. I can get my teeth to work. Uh, this week's guests are the usual crew, Alex Grant, um, Phil Hatchrid, Norrie Stewart. We'll dispense with the bottom lines of descriptions and get straight into the meat of the things. Um, today, I have to say, I was entertained, in fact. <laughs> genuinely entertained by watching First Mrs. Questions. It wasn't a duty. Um, we usually start, but let's start with Alex for a change. What was your first impressions about today's FMQs? Yeah, I was entertained as well. I, I agree. Um, uh, I thought Alex was... Uh, it, I thought he was good last week, particularly in contrast to the previous. But I think, if anything, he built on it this week. And I think uh, the... The Scottish government need to build on the uh, on the line of attack he took, in my opinion, which is one of the phrases he said, he used was, oh, I think I think it was John Lambert he was talking about. He said, "Is Scotland incapable?" And I think they need to hammer that very very hard because that's what that's the mantra from from the unionists. It's, it, it, they keep it's, it's too it's but too wee, too small, and too poor. They're uh, back there again, which is stupid. The, the same old stuff, and I, and I think. Uh, it, it's unfortunate the so-called leaked paper had certain statements in it that were used the way they were used. I don't know what Joe Public thinks and the way certain things were portrayed. Uh, to be frank, there were, there, were, there were some headlines, even in the likes of the Scotsman, after they published the new uh, paper um, that, as he, keep, as he kept mentioning, was due to come out anyway. It wasn't the response as was being suggested. The oil forecast. The, the oil forecast. And I think they've got to keep building on that because his, his whole mantra... Uh, in responding to uh, at least half of the questions uh, about your fiddling the numbers um, was, a th I think, very logically based. I, we didn't take the high number. We, we, we've taken a mix of numbers. And by the way, the OBR number was the lowest of the lot. Uh, there are some people in the room who would like to have said that uh, it's Osborne's budget responsibility of our uh, department as a part as opposed to the yeah, office anyway. of the office yeah. of budget responsibility. I, I'll, baby. I, exactly. Are they independent? Well, whether they're independent or not, they certainly chose to be as pessimistic as possible and you've got to believe they've got a political agenda to do that. So I think what Alex said today needs to be built on by the party and as I've said to a number of people, I'd like to be going around stuffing stuff through letterboxes this weekend, actually putting as strong as possible a case over about the... There you go. See, Alex, got, Alex had a very clear position before he even sat down and opened the mics here. I did. Phil, what did you think about today's? Uh, today I thought it was, again, yeah, entertain is a word, but also, if you weren't following so much, you're, you're a bit more enlightened and a bit more educated the way yeah. he was doing. He was very, very forceful in his, in his things. Um, oh, and the questions from Lamont, I mean, sorry, this thing that he'd come up with over the weekend and <coughs> forgotten about the question she got two weeks ago and then you know um, new currency what new currency I mean they made it you know listen one two three sterling 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 um, that's what they that's what they've already said but it's all this fear doubt I mean I think it's the way they just denigrate their own country all the time I find stranger and stranger mm. um, and sorry but she's the shifty eyes were back with a vengeance. <laughs> really, really were. Yeah, they were. Um, and it's just come through from the West, well, actually, really, and, and make no bones about this, but she was talking pure Glaswegian pesh. You've just, you just been across there, have you? No. And OBR, it's Osborne's baby. Uh, I mean, I'm Osborne's. sorry, I would not trust that report. Uh, I mean, if he hasn't got his fingers in, in that report coming out, um, and, and again, it's that whole, what, you've got all this, you have all these... These assets and everything else, but, it's but you're terrible, obviously... but you can't possibly manage them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, then. No, 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 your, your first impression is we'll be back. Well, I, I, I was happy to see her mixing the questions up a bit, but then she came back. So I mean, tactically, I thought she was better this week. Oh, she, she just doesn't do it. She still goes on too long. You know, she kind of has to leave the question bang. That gives her time to come back bang. You know, tactically. Better, but pff, could do a lot better. I think she could do a lot better. Um, yeah. uh, shift the eyes, by the way, because she spends the rest of the week in a bunker in the dark. She's not used to seeing such yeah, bright lights. Still, they tend to let her out. But it was more entertaining. Um, Alex, yeah, on the ball this week. Definitely on the ball. Back, back to. 
Again, he had so many ways of, of answering it. On the single currency, yeah. well, actually, we'll use sterling if we want. There's nothing nobody can do about it. Okay, yeah. we won't be in a fiscal union, but if we want to use sterling, we'll use you. I mean, there's... We're going to use dollars. Is, is, that, because because it's, is that because it's a reserve currency? So maybe somebody should tell no, me. Yeah, yeah, it's I a I publicly think, traded currency. Yeah. Well, well, it is, but I, think the, I think the other point that doesn't get made often enough is we, all, we may only be 10% of the population, but it is our currency. You know, the pound is our currency. You're right. So why don't they just emphasize it? Because they, they, what they keep trying to say is, oh, you want to be independent and you want to use their currency. No, we want to use the currency we've already got. Exactly. Hi. Uh, you may want your own language too. Actually, I, uh, do you know what's nobody... <laughs> yeah, I don't go there. But you know, one of, the, one of the things that I remember, because as a banker, a qualified banker, I'm more qualified than that man Goodman that got bloody knighthood. Probably more qualified than Mr. Osborne too. I'm more qual I've got banking qualifications. What I did learn in banking, and it's actually relative, it's, re it's, re it all, it's all to do with 1707. You go back to 1694, the establishment of the Bank of England by a guy called Patterson. Mm -hmm. 1695, the establishment of the Bank of Scotland by a guy called Patterson. You go back two or three years to the establishment of credit, of the joint stock company, mm -hmm. And uh, just before the South Sea bubble, in Paris, the same man, Scotsman, Patterson. Ponzi scheme. The very first Ponzi scheme, <laughs> which was immediately followed by the South Sea bubble scandal in London again. Not by Patterson. Not the same man was involved in all these things. And these, all, these things only all happened in the, in the 10 or 15 years before Scotland was absorbed into England. It's a fascinating thought, allegedly. Well, let's, uh, let's get more specific. We'll start with Ori. Joanne's performance. Tactically, I, I like her move to not just asking one question and hanging on and hanging on and hanging on. She nearly did it right. Her delivery, she's comfortable doing this. She's, she's found her, as I said before, her comfort zone, which is a problem because once you've got your comfort zone, if you're not coming out of it, you're not wrong foot in anybody. Yeah, that's possibly true. So it's not going to get harder. Well, can I have your opinion about um, don't, everybody's opening about this whole oh, congratulating the Pope? Do you think this was politically well, good or bad? It's, it's nothing to do with politics, really, is it? You just don't want to upset those in the electorate who are Catholics. Every fifth person on the really? planet, by the way. It's, it's, it's very politically necessary, I think, is the observation. The, the other thing, well, I just had to look at the coverage yesterday. Hmm. Of what? She's wall to wall coverage yeah. about the Pope. Oh, I managed to avoid that by going offline. Oh, uh, me well, too. I mean, online, on the telly, on the radio, you couldn't get away with it. Um, but, so it has to be covered politically? So. Yeah. Okay. You couldn't ignore it. I think Alex mentioned that nobody mentioned the squirrel this week, but no, they didn't mention the Pope. No, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Joanne mentioned the squirrel last week, if you remember. It's, 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 oh, is that what she was looking for? Is that how much a rice camera she was looking for the squirrel? <laughs> it, it is actually quite interesting, though, if, from the point of view, this Pope isn't a politician. This Pope hasn't worked in the Vatican. Well, don't give him a... He's, he's a Jesuit. It's, he's a guy. Jesuit. He's a politician. Yeah. Don't forget, he's also already been accused of uh, harbouring, um, basically, war criminals from the Argentine dictatorship. Of, yeah, we're going back to the, the time of the course. It's the time of the Poland's exactly. war. Let's not talk too much about it. Probably. Yeah, let's go back to the. Let's stick yeah, to, to let, let's stick back. to politics, local politics. All that was was hygiene. Joanne Lamont. Well, that's the Labour Party, I guess. Right? Well, all the Glasgow Labour Party. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. right. Let's Joanne, go. Yeah. Um, it, I wasn't particularly impressed. Whatever. She was totally outshone by Alex. Totally outshone. And again. The Labour Party, because they're getting closer and closer and closer to the Conservatives, now have the same problem that Ruth Davidson has every week. Alex can point dead south. Yeah. You know, Labour have come out in favour of renewing Trident. It's this week they were exposed for having no policy on the bedroom tax. I wonder why. I saw Lady Goodman. I've seen the video. She's okay. saying they will. They will continue with the bedroom tax yeah. when, if they get but, back into power. But they, I mean, they have no. The Scottish Labour Party have no policy. Yeah, but the camp, the, 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 the Scottish Labour Party the activists are the ca campaigning team. against the bedroom tax. But the, the London, the people yeah. in power so, in London are. Uh, so I, Alex has got that 
bag of ammunition. Yeah, right? but he didn't use enough of it. No, no. But should he use more of it? He doesn't I need any more. To. Well, yeah, but if look, it's a thirty-minute soundbite. He, he should have got stuck when she made that comment about your wee back benches are fit to contradict you. He could easily have. He, he, he did mention the Iraq war. He could have said more about well, that's the Iraq war. That, that was another good point. It was, that. and he, and and he and he. Had, Joanne he Lamont voted for the Iraq. War. Well, you, the point I'm making though is that you've got liberal Democrats. Haven't they got a leg to stand on? No. The Conservatives haven't they got a leg to stand on? The Labour Party have not opened even the it. door to go into the room where you're all, you can only get in if you've got one leg. They are not being smart. They are basically bugged up. So all you're going to see from them is can he trust, can he trust, can he trust. Right. Uh, so you, you've, you've covered Joanne. Uh, we can all finish up. I think we should all leave Alex to the last because. Without a doubt, I think you start today. What about Ruth? What did you think she get? I mean, how did basically, she work today? Ruth, basically, Ruth lied. She well, lied. Ruth tried to say that the OBR oil fitter what? was not taken into account in the right. document that was produced. Bullshit. It was taken into account. It lies. is a mean of the five top reports. Um, reports. And it. I mean, I sat down and did the figures because I thought, Jesus, I hope they've included the OBR because that's going to be a way to get battered. And yes, they included it. So effectively, she got up and lied. Can you remember what Willie asked about? Yeah. Well, he was off. Press regulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that should have been a good one, but what did he ask? Well, he asked, no, he asked if he could get clarity on the report that's due out soon. And what Alex came back with was, like, we'll have a meeting this afternoon, yeah, you'll be there, yeah. and I'll, I'll tell you about it there. Yeah. And then. So but, but I think you'll be quite pleased with the progress. I was very measured. Um, it's and, quite grown up. And it was, well, it was the best performance, really. It, it, it was an attack, let's face it, it was a sensible question. And he, he criticised the Prime Minister as well. Uh, so... And Alex didn't grab him by the throat, particularly on that. He, he was perfectly measured in his response. Well, he was actually better than he's been for quite a while. He went, he Willie, went, Willie does... come back to me a wee bit statesman-like. Willie does statesman much better than he does attack. Oh, he does. He does. I agree. Definitely he does. I, I'd, I'd, I'd say he was... That's been a, a bit generous. I'd say he, he just wasn't a practice week. <laughs> okay. Fair Fair and what about the presiding officer this week? She had a bit of a problem. Yes, she did. She did have a problem, yeah. but she, she did... She did and she took yeah, the yeah. EFM off him. I wouldn't... Yeah, no, Miss Sturgeon, she said. She did, yeah. She doesn't seem to have... She needs to nip it in the butt. Yeah. She needs to, as soon as it starts, bang. And the SNP need to get disciplined because it was them this week. Oh, it was, yeah. And that, that's an open door. You ask a question that's got any serious connotation and you get behaviour like that, you're entitled. No, I may have to say, oh, you don't take this seriously. Right, then, Alec, let's run, let, let, you run through, Joanne, what was her performance like? We're not asking this score yet, but... No, OK. Um, yeah, I, I agree with Nori. Um, she varied it, which is a much better strategy. Um, you know, she, as they will do, she, she took one small example of, for example, one economist who, st who started talking about yeah. a new currency, which obviously opens the door to the usual subject of uncertainty, we can't do it, blah de blah de blah. So it's it's a reasonable a, a attack strategy. Um, she would so I think for for given as our oft commented comment about the fact that she's incapable of shooting from the hip, um, it was a reasonable performance and she tried to dig at him on a whole load of stuff. But we have still all agreed on Nori's analysis that she's in a kind of comfort zone. I, I think so that's as good as you're gonna get from her. Uh, because she does suffer from the fact, as Nori says, that she, she ends up saying what the other two parties are saying and basically I don't know how many Labour voters watch this to be frank. That's not very many. Did. Not very many. If they did they would be going, well how come she's saying exactly what they're saying? Well, if, anyway, she was okay. Uh, Ruth Davidson I think tried, uh, as we've discussed again off time, she's, she's, um, she's a better presenter anyway because that's a, a stock and trade. And she did try to use Specific statistics to, to uh, back her case up, but as Nori says, it was easy for the for the fir first minister to turn around and say, "Well, you're wrong. We've actually used all the numbers." And oh, by the way, the worst possible number was that he didn't he didn't say what Phil and I would like him to have said and stuck the boot straight into Osborne's buddies, but he didn't have to. He yeah. made the point, so that was great. Uh, and then Willie, obviously, I don't know if if Willie's talked to a few of his his. Uh, 
advisors, and they must have said, look, stop making a prat of yourself. Uh, and so I don't disagree with you, Phil. He, he, he certainly moved away from, not, from making a prat of himself. And he asked a serious question. Yeah. He criticised the, the, the Prime Minister, which gave Alex a wee bit of an opening to stick a wee prod in, um, but he didn't go, go over the top. No, no, Alex thinks stayed with the question. Well, he? he did. I think he made some comment about, uh, at some point, about the disagreement between... He didn't actually mention Nick Clegg's... Uh, Nick, um, Nick Clegg... Um, what's, what's the... The old boy with the bald head? I always forget his name. The Cable. 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 Uh, <laughs> he, 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 the old boy, yeah. The old boy, yeah. Um, he didn't actually mention the fact that he made a few th comments in the press, but he alluded to them. So he said, but he was relatively gentle about it, and he, as you say, he said, we've got a meeting this afternoon, I'll be happy, I think you'll be quite pleased with bloody blast. So yeah, it's all very right. measured. Right, so what about the presenting officer this week? What did you think about her performance? Well, I think it's the same as before. I think she needs to have a look at your man in Westminster and start getting getting balls, to be honest. Um, well, to be honest, I must admit, the wee short man in Westminster, I'm, he's I'm, good. I think he's no, good. No, I think he's eight. Great fellow, you've been mean, very good. Big, Big John. Wait a minute, I'm taking the leash off. Right. Right then. But right. John. What's up with Joanne? Oh, Joanne. No, oh, well, well. I just wish she'd stop saying that people out of Scotland, you've got 25% of the vote. She doesn't represent the people of Scotland, the First Minister does. They right. Did she say that? But, well, yeah, the people yeah, they, 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 and so, so the street, that, that people of Scotland, you're the people of Scotland the are people. like they're giving themselves, you're, sorry, you're speaking for a small, well, a 25% party there that did vote for the Iraq war and all that just on a matter of soup. She did. Um, yeah, because they don't have a policy. That's half the, half the problem. They do look to the puppet master um, down, down in London, whoever it is. They do not have their own policy there as well. Um, yeah, they're varied questions, but to my mind, yeah, they were varied questions, but it was kind of all over the place um, in, in that bit. Going, sticking on to Osborne's little pet reports. Um, and sticking on that, not sticking on the mean average of all the other ones around it, because if you've seen that with Alec, he completely dismissed the OECD one as well, because that was over the top the other way, with 150%. Yeah, no, he stuck around the mean average, yeah, which is anybody with a better sense literally, literally would do. Took an average, yeah. yeah, he took a mean average. You know? um, yeah, uh, she, she wasn't bad, but really, really, she does need a course. She needs to look with those eyes. I mean, I can sit and look at it, but it, doesn't, it just doesn't look good. None of the others do it. None of the others do it, and she should really look. She's looking up there at the space. It's almost looking as if she's looking up on the gallery for somebody to give her the wink or something like that. You know, yeah, yeah, that one's right. Yeah, oh, it's like, it's like the Roman. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, up. A <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs that, down. That's just because I, I have quite a, a developed imagination. We, we, we need to find, <laughs> we need to find <laughs> out for a speechwriter to sit up there. Yeah, we, that, that's, that is a point. Um, yeah, and Ruth, done. Ruth. Ruth Davis. Uh, yeah, she can't look at a speechwriter. All, all the people in the audience are behind her. She can only, uh, she's facing towards the speaker. <laughs> but she can look up there, can't she? As they right. go, look out. Well, now the only, behind you. the only gallery she can look at is the press the gallery. Press gallery yeah. Everything yeah. else is behind her. Yeah, well, there well, you go, but that's where you could sit. Well, you yeah. could do, yeah. Right. And, and well, Ruth, Dav <laughs> well, Ruth Davis is going to just be just Ruth Davis following on. Um, Line, good presentation with no real content, just exactly what you'd expect from her. Um, oh, th this week she lied. I'm sorry, she told a lie. Sorry, the sorry, how do you tell a notorious lie? The well, move. Move. well um, you, you can say it was a lie, Nori, but the fact is, she said the Office of Budget Responsibility, which everybody should believe in like they believe in religion, <laughs> said this. You said something totally different, therefore you're wrong. No, she then said they hadn't taken those figures into account and they uh, use those specific words. Osborne she failed. Said, she said they, they she ignored failed. them in their calculations. Right then Phil? It's, well, 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 well yeah, you can't, just, just stay on an OBR, OBR as well. Now that's, that's what Osborne set that whole thing up. Mm -hmm. Now look at anything that Osborne said or you know quoted or you, you know predicted, it's all absolute garbage. I mean everything is just collapsed. All around there is, and they still say, so well, yeah, well, well, no, no, but they, they say what they're going to go, yes, it's collapsed, but this is just proof that we need to keep going on in the same direction. The OBR, might, the OBR haven't got a major st statistic that, that, within, within 0.5%, okay. and we're talking the statistics that run basically oh, from yeah. zero to three. Alex made that uh, uh, point. You're talking about yeah. growth yeah. projections. Well, yeah. the growth, none of their, none of their projections have they been anywhere near accurate. Actually, the, the, the classic... 
British, that type, you know, they're all, they must all be related uh, at some way to Lord Cardigan, you know, into the Valley of Death, and it just... Well, I'm still waiting to hear what, what you think of Willie this week. Yeah. Why bother? Because uh, uh, this is what really, you really can't bother. No, actually, I thought, hmm, wow, well, uh, yeah, non-contentious out there. As I said, somebody said, Willie, just don't be a brat this week, eh? And, yeah, you might even right. get You might even get a point, eh? Yeah, and, and, and Alex actually thought, oh... He's not been a practice, we can't answer you, properly. You could actually we'll say, though, it. taking that point, if, if the job of the opposition is to always at FMQs to challenge the government, he didn't do that, did he? No, he didn't, didn't challenge. That's the question. No, it was a serious question. But, 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 he, yeah, but this is the problem. Everybody thinks challenge means shout and abuse. No. Challenge doesn't. Challenge means to ask a question that puts them on the back foot. I know, but that was... Where they have to think about the answer. I agreed. I and you got an answer about the old getting away. If you but, ask a yeah, question, question wasn't going to do that. More the question wasn't going to do that, Nori. No, yeah, but the, do it. the answer from the first it's minister was, was, and I think you'll be surprised. Sounds like he was. Well, you know. Um, well, let me put it to you this way: If if I'm Alex sure Hammond had, had asked one of his backbenchers to ask that question so he could say something positive yeah. about the response to Leveson, it would have been perfect. So actually, Willie opened the goal and said. Would you uh, like to shoot? And he shot. No, but the question wasn't about opposition from Willie. It was no. about Consensus. Democrats looking like grown-ups. Uh, and then I think, then they okay, to think and the uh, presiding officer. Yeah, presiding officer. Part of the course, middling. Um, yeah, somebody needs to get a grip on them as well. But when you were talking about the SNP that were being the protagonists, yeah, but a lot of it was actually coming from the first bench. Uh, I mean, Swinney, bench, but, but, but Swinney, Swinney, was, Swinney was sitting back and he's pointing across the oh, shot. Yeah, but they were actually laughing in derision, um, particularly when she started going on about the, you know, the new current song. I mean, a, a lot of what you're getting is like, what is she on about kind of laughing, you know? And of course, it must be difficult and, not and, to. And Labour persists if you watch them at the back, bang, 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 bang on the table. I wasn't too much of that this week. Oh, there was Remember, they used to always well, bang. to begin with. Oh, yeah. was there? Well, no. no the, that is they the used to bang the desk, but they'd clap more. The SNP's game is this sort of crescendo of murmuring. Well, let's move on. To, to, no, are you ready to add up the scores? I am. Yeah. Um, we'll start with... Well, let's give Phil the start. The score starts this week. Uh, I'll start off with Joanne. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give a six. Whoa. Careful. Did you say six or six? Six. No, I heard six. I'm the guru. <laughs> six. Uh, and Ruth Davis. Davison. Definitely. You keep getting the name wrong. Davison. Yeah, well, you don't bother. She's never going to be definite, anything anyway. Definite lack of, um, how can I put this? Neckline. No, 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 no. I'm saying well, nothing this Well, week. she is an abbreviation for, an apolitic, for a politician, isn't she? So Davis will do. Um, um, what's, she scoring, what's she scoring this week? I'll give her... I'll give her a two. Wow. Really? I'll give Willie a two as well. And what about Alex this week? Oh, Alex, yeah, well, I think he was on... Yeah, I, I couldn't afford him at all today, so... And I gave him nine last week, so... And he was definitely better than last week, so... Yeah, I'll go for a 9.5. Not like giving only about the ten, really. Alex, right, I started the presiding officer. Um, I wrote four, but I think three to be honest, because you know she needs to, to get a grip. And as I say, she should get herself down at Westminster and watch the wee man in action, because I think she should start biting bums. And, <laughs> and she should actually, they should actually say to to the backbenchers in in their own party, shut it because it'll only ever be used against you, so don't do it. Even though you're tempted to do it, don't do it. Um, uh, Willie Rennie, uh, I'm equivocal because it was, a, it, it was a sensible, measured question, more statesman-like than the usual rubbish, but as I said a moment ago, mm -hmm. did it challenge Alex? No, it didn't, but anyway, I'll give him six. Um, Whoa! Wow. Well, he's, he's a prat, but in term, you know, one has to say, in, in terms of the... He was a magic, idiosyncratic performance today. That's and that's what I've got to measure. I mean, I watched my TV earlier in the week and I'd have given him zero, but the fact is, I guess him six. Um, John Lamont and Ruth Davidson, to be quite frank, they they took a slightly different approach to the same to the same mantra. I don't think they scored any particular hits. Um, I've written five here, but I've changed my mind. I give them both four, um, and Echo give nine two. Because he was set, set, 
is seriously on form today and he needs to do more of that. He needs to keep saying, why do you keep talking Scotland down? Because that has to have some form of resonance. Very good. All right. Um, no. I didn't give a score, by the way, for the precise answer. Right. I can give her two for me. Joanne, I'm, I'm going to give Joanne five, purely because I think somebody's working with her to try and chop up a delivery. Mm. So she's she's not this week. It was two or three questions, although yeah. it was all wrapped yeah. in a one question bubble. Um, so yeah, she's starting to try. As I say, until she actually finds a way to get out of her comfort zone and look like she's got some authority in reality. She's not, she's not going to take Alex on. Ruth? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I, she's not sparky. I'm very annoyed because there was enough statistics there that she didn't have to, as far as I'm concerned, why. Mm. There was plenty of opportunity to make the SNP look like they played a bit with the figures. So I'm only going to give her three. Willie, I'm going to give Willie a five. Mm. A lot of that is because if he's listening, I would far rather react like that. And you'll get a point every week that you do that, <laughs> right? You go back to being a dickhead, you're done. Is he desperate for our well, points? If he does that again next week, I'll give him three. Providing officer? Uh, I'm going to give her a three. That's probably a bit generous, but... Mm. Alex. Uh, I'm going to give Alex a nine. Much better. In fact, in, in a way... It should maybe be an eight because there was a lot of good soundbite opportunities that he did miss. Mm. But there was so much opportunity to oh, kick yeah, back. So it much. must be so you got half an hour though. If he keeps giving every oh, opportunity, nobody, you, you know. know. But I know, but it is soundbite. So there was, I think we both agree. Uh, there were a couple of points where he should have been, he should have had six points in front of him, and, he, and every opportunity should he should have said, and what about the Iraq war, and what about this, and what about that? And Trident and, uh, but and was still, bedroom tax. He doesn't want to fall. Yeah, Trident. He doesn't want to fall, yeah, yeah, fall into the trap that Joanne's actually got out of. By the way, mind it was all soundbite, 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 soundbite. Yeah. He doesn't want to get into that trap of she's doing nothing she's but sound bites. He doesn't need it. He's good enough not to need it. It's quite strange because she's, she's gone to the, from the 23 sound bites to the 12. Yeah. She actually needs to get it down to three really good ones. Salmon just needs to repeat the we are mm. good enough. I thought he was, I have to say, I thought Salmon was, I might even, I'm not, I, I'm going to give him a nine, nine and a half, because he comes very, hit me. I thought he was actually superb today. Yeah. Um, he really just destroyed the opposition from the very start. Um, <coughs> Joanne, I didn't think she was up to much at all this week. I think she really messed up, messed up. I can't even manage a five for her, I'll give her a four. for the wall. I can only give it a four. That's Willie that's gets, a I, I think Willie gets a five as well for a change. He's got it. He certainly did better than Joanne. It's possibly his best ever performance by being nice. Ruth, absolute garbage. I agree with Nori. Absolute nothing. I'll give it one. Presiding officer. I'll give it three. She, they need to change. I'm sorry. She needs to be replaced. Um, but I, I want to say something else about Alex. Because I mean, he actually, if you remember last week, he. he, he he did deliberately used the word bitter together last week, mm -hmm. which was quite shocking. In and, the it's used and this week, he actually said, he kind of said, I'm not going to say bitter together. Yeah. He didn't say the words, but, and he, he became diplomatic. It's quite strange, because that was the next words I thought were coming out of his mouth. Aye. I thought he was going to say bitter together. He didn't actually even say that. I'm quite sure he said bitter together. He said it twice last week. He didn't say, he actually kind of said, I'm not going to say it. He didn't say no, bitter together, but he, he, I'm going to be go polite go this week, more or less, he said. Got a lot of repentance. And uh, so you have to say, yeah, 9.5 for Alex. It, it's actually quite, can I ask you something before I tell you the scores? Yeah. Who do you think actually performed back today, Willie or Joanne? Willie, for me, without a doubt. Really? It depends on what you're measuring, Nori. Yeah. Yeah. Willie, in, in terms of did he come across as a reasonable, sensible person? But if you're if you're attacking the government, I'm not so sure. So I'm I find it hard to answer that question. Okay. Joanne was better as, as being an opposition, but he he didn't really say anything at all. I mean, it was almost a little bit suki. Um, 
sort of um, he was. Wasn't it's he? a good yeah. topic, though. Let's be honest. Being yeah. I mean, as, as, an well, as somebody as reason, an opposition, yeah. Then Joanne, I think, did a better. The, re the reason I'm asking is because in my head, he he was better than Joanne today. Right. But the score for Joanne this week's 19. The score for Willie's 18. I thought Willie did actually beat her. Well, that's because he marked him so low, though. Yeah. Well, but it was just. I just <laughs> well, wanted to know. Tactical voting. So, <laughs> So it's actually, well, the numbers, the numbers are working because we had, it's close enough to be called the... Yeah, but you see, don't, this, don't you accuse me of being a party hack now? Yeah, but you see, no, this is where you have to, and he wouldn't know the difference because he just said something earlier, but this is where you have to distinguish between the mean, the median, and the mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a statistical nut then, eh? Uh, Alex way ahead, 37, which is more than twice as much as Willie, just under twice as much as Joanne. Ruth gets a 10, that quite surprised me, that's quite high for Ruth. The presiding officer, 11, which makes her second last. Yeah. She's not improving. She's so not. And, something it, and, if she, and, if, and the other thing I thought when I was listening to this again, because there was a, as there always is, an interval in this where your own backbenchers and even some of the Labour backbenchers ask something which you sort of glaze over about. I'm, I'm not saying they're totally unimportant issues, but you glaze over about, I want her, because one of you told me two weeks ago, she's supposed to be sitting on a decision as to whether the, the five independents get yeah. uh, at least as much voice as the Liberals. And if she's, if she's responsible for that, which I don't know if she is, it might be she the is, yeah. according, according to, to Alex Harvey, it's her decision. Patrick Harvey. Her decision, Patrick, it's, it's her, her decision. decision. She's not made it. And I well, think it's a point. Well, and they sit as a group. They, they, they sit, sit as, as a registered And they group. should get... Question. And, absolutely. Absolutely. and question time would be far better if they did because they did, they, they Patrick would, Harvey in particular, well, he's, he's, he's penetrating. Well, he's well, he should get Patrick, Patrick Harvey um, is probably why I don't get one. Margot. 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 Suspect. But who's who's the guy and she who resigned SMP. from the SNP? Oh. There's one that got who's, who's possibly who's in charges was, from for, for, for women molesting. Who? No, no. The guy that was resigned the SNP over NATO. What's his name? Well, there were two of them. Oh, there's two of them. There's, there's two. Gene Urquhart and uh, the other, the other the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. There's two of them. He's good. He's, He's good. good. And so is Gene Urquhart. But I would imagine he could be quite a thorn because he, he stands up and you think, oh, that's somebody's grandfather. And then he's quite penetrating. No, no, he is. And, and, and what worries me is, as Phil just alluded to, it, we may be saying it's in the first, uh, the, in the presiding Very officer's awesome. entry. The truth is, after what you know, have to be cynical and say, mm, who's she taking the lead from? You know, do they want? If I was the FM and I was being really selfish, I wouldn't want the five of them getting the question because I, I can deal with the others a damn sight more easily than I can deal with them. Maybe that, Fair enough. that's it. But it's if you like, it's an off. It's almost like a B team there. It would be quite. I mean, Patrick Harvey is smart. Patrick Harvey would, would frame so questions. Would Margot. Yeah, but Mar Margot, 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 Patrick Harvey, Gene Urquhart, they are all the, good operators. Yeah, they all do so it. They would, he would give you the opportunity to up the uh, nationalist cause, even if it looked like he was giving you a hard time. That's He's true. smart enough to do well, that. Gentlemen, we've, been, we, you've been, we've run on by about 10 minutes this oh, week. Right. Oh dear. Don't I know. think it's more, not so much Patrick Harvey, just think, um, it's Margot. Actually, right. We'd yeah. like her to be asking questions, Indeed. that's for sure. Anyway, gentlemen, thank you very much for um, your contribution this week. It's been a particularly enjoyable First Minister's Questions Review. And yeah. thank you very much for listening and watching. Goodbye. <laughs>